Hi, in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to create a book with your Moodle. To create a book, you have to turn editing on, on the right corner. Then you scroll to where you want to add the resource, click add an activity or resource. Scroll all the way to resources, you'll have one called book. There you, you can add a book there. Um, and then this book we're going to call it Venezuela. Book about Venezuela. To make this process quickly, I am going to just copy it from because that restriction access from Wikipedia. So save and display. So now we're on the first page of the book or the first chapter. So let's just copy this first content. I'm gonna copy it, paste it, about save. Now let's copy this part. Add a page. Now let's add a page for history. Actually, all this is history. So here we have sub pages, probably. We'll add those three as sub pages. Okay. So we'll add another page. It's going to be the history page. Now we want a sub-page within history, so we'll click the plus sign again. Now we'll click sub-chapter. Select colonization. Go all the way to the bottom. So you can see that even images can be added to this page is pretty much anything in HTML that you want to add, you can add to these pages. So now let's add another subchapter. This one's going to be independence. Finally, we'll copy the Bolivarian Revolution. Which has a lot of content for only being 13 years. But now we see that this is out of order, so we're going to have to bring this one up, because that happens first. it down and bring this one down good so now let's add another chapter all together about geography so it really depends you know a book allows you to display content in a different way it doesn't necessarily mean it's better it's just a different way to display content geography and I'm not gonna add subchapters in this one because I think it's somewhat clear how you do that. Um, we'll make this chapter 4. Okay, so it seems like we're going to have to bring these guys up. One, two, three. Great, so now we have a book with four chapters. So how would a student see that book? Well, let's say we don't want them to see the history part. So we're going to hide history. And then a student comes and we'll switch the role to student. Student goes to site, it goes all the way down to the weaker the book is, clicks on the book, 
and it only has three chapters. We know that there's a chapter of history, but for some reason the instructor decided to hide that chapter. So a student can scroll chapter to chapter. They have the table of contents. It's kind of how it looks. You can transform your syllabus into a book. You can transform any subject into a book. Show student projects as a book. You can use books for various reasons, but again, it's a collection of HTML files with a common index to them. And finally, we can print it out. So print this chapter, that will give you a bare bones printout of that chapter. Good. And then if we want to print the whole book, we can do that as well. And you see that the screens adapt to the size of the box. That will adapt to the printing as well. Um, and that's pretty much how a book works. Again, you can use them like any other resource when you think it's most helpful. Um, aesthetically, they can be helpful at times. And just as an organizational framework for loose HTML pages that you can also add as well within your Moodle site. To add a page within your Moodle site, you simply I'll have to return to my normal role and make sure editing is on. Turn editing on. So these are actually pages, this one's right here. So if I wanted to add a page, I would click Add Page. If I want to add a book, click Add Book. That's pretty much it. Thank you.